Hi everyone. Hi everyone, it's Cheyenne and today I'm going to be going over how to finance your Airbnb with little money down and I get this question a lot, what type of loan do you use? I use a second house mortgage and I'm going to talk about the second house mortgage requirements, the common myths, the difference between a primary and a second house mortgage and how you can go about it with your loan officers. So let's get into it. First, I want to give you a little background of this little cutie right here, how I snatch her. I use a second house mortgage. So the purchase price of this little cutie is $194,000. And I put in a 10% down payment, which is $19,400. And the closing cost was about 8,000 something dollars. But in total, um, just to get this little cutie, it cost me about $30,000. My house is located in the tri-state area of New Jersey, New York, and Pennsylvania. It's literally in that center right there. I want to debunk the most common myth about second house mortgage that I feel that I see and I see in my comments is that you do not need to own a house to use a second house mortgage. So me buying my first Airbnb property, I never bought a house before that. I was renting out an apartment and you do not require to buy a house to use a second house mortgage. I just want to make that clear. I think that is like the most common misconception here what is the difference between a primary and a secondary house mortgage so i don't remember this on top of my head so i'm gonna be waiting on my laptop and i'm gonna be posting some articles down that i think it's really helpful for you guys to read and to educate yourself because you know i know i'm educating yourself but do your research too okay a primary house mortgage requires you to live there and it requires you to be pretty close to your workplace so when a loan officer actually takes a look and if you apply for a primary house mortgage they look at your work address and they look actually at the house address the house that you're planning to buy and they want to make sure that it is a pretty good distance right so with the primary house mortgage you know you can get as little as like five percent down payment with this mortgage you have to live at your house for most of the year that is something that you cannot do if you are planning to rent it out on airbnb another requirement is you need to start living there within the 60 day period so that is what a primary house mortgage is so let's get into the secondary house requirements. So there is two rules in the second house mortgage and people usually sometimes call the second house mortgage slash vacation house uh, mortgage. You must live within the property for at least 14 days per year. And the second rule is you must reside in the house for at least 10% of the days that is rented out. So wow, that is is basically the requirement for the second house mortgage. This works out pretty great, especially if you're starting out Airbnb because you are most likely gonna be at your rental place, your Airbnb house, at least 10% of the time or at least 10 days of the year because you're gonna be setting up the place, you're gonna be furnishing it, you're gonna be checking up on the place, you're gonna be there with the contractor and checking in with the renovation. So it's really easy to actually hit these requirements and i can promise you i definitely stayed at my airbnb house definitely more than 10 days probably like three months and that really hits off the second house mortgage requirement the great thing about using a second house mortgage i think it's pretty obvious is that that you can put in as little as 10 percent down payment that is amazing because with any other mortgage um especially if you try to go with the third house mortgage that requires you a 20% down payment as little as 20% down payment oh my gosh i did not even realize this <laughs> i can bring it up oopsie daisy okay that requires you a 20% down payment that's a lot round up my house to 200k with just a 20% down payment that's already $40,000 that already hits um, my cash on cash return that's adding another twenty thousand dollars so what i spent 
the my total price everything from furnishing renovation everything was about like seventy five thousand dollars so adding another twenty thousand dollars that's like almost a hundred k that's like ninety five k that's wild so that is like one of the biggest parts of a second house mortgage is because you can put as little as 10 percent down the thing i want to go over is how do i go about it with my loan officer so i've talked about probably to over i kid you not 20 loan officers probably even more because i was trying to get like the best rate and honestly that was such a like mistake of i was, I was like really focusing like oh my gosh 3.125 percent compared to like 3.125 compared to like 3.125 or something and honestly it really doesn't make a big difference like honestly 3.125 and 3.2 the one thing that's really important of getting a loan officer that your loan officer is someone that you can trust and someone that can that can close your property on time i switch about four loan officers i kid you not and i was like bro why are these loan officer is giving me all these like hidden fees like my first loan officer i was gonna go with him he was great and but then he was like, oh, I, I can't do around that area. I'm not that great. So he suggested me to another loan officer. And this loan officer, I was like, okay, he's, 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 he's great. He's cool. And then he gave me so much, hit, like towards the end when I saw my closing letter, I was like, what is up with this, all these hidden fees? So you really need to look for a good loan officer, that someone that tells you the cost up front and that just knows what they're doing because a lot of time the loan officers don't even know what a second house mortgage is a lot of times they actually like deny they're like oh no you can't do that you need to go with the third house mortgage which is an investment mortgage and really they don't know what they're doing it's first doing research knowing what the second house mortgage requirements are and being upfront with your loan officer you, it's a numbers game you just have to keep reaching out to a lot of loan officers most of the time they reach out to you and i think the first thing is finding a good loan officer first thing is ask your real estate agent they usually have really good loan officers um that they know and that's how i land my loan officer uh, from my real estate agent and she was amazing i want to be my amazing she was able to close on time a good loan officer that actually knows what they're doing and actually knows the second house mortgage requirements in worst case you cannot find a second a loan officer that grant you a second house mortgage honestly it's not i'm not saying you to lie i'm not telling you to lie but i'm saying that you know you don't have to say everything right you can kind of test the waters like hey you know i am planning to get a second house mortgage and be be there time to time and during the meantime when i'm not there i i'm planning to rent it out so you know that's usually the line i use when i'm trying to test out the loan officers and most of the time 90 percent of the time they're like yeah okay cool whatever hope this video was helpful i know this is probably going to be a pretty short video but i feel that in some of you guys ask um what loan did i use like or just uh, i see a lot of comments about like oh you probably need a house to use a second house mortgage so you know you guys ask and i deliver even though it's very little of you guys but i still listen and i deliver if i miss anything please comment below ask your questions the most time i respond i respond right away buying your first airbnb it's like a big milestone you know and you just feel like after you buy your first airbnb it feels like you feel invincible you feel like oh, i can do whatever i can I can do whatever I, that I set my mind to. Um, something like that. But I wish you nothing but the best and success in your Airbnb journey. Um, yeah, until the next time. Bye!